Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. So there's our circle. So now we're going to find the domain and range. A circle is an example of something called a relation, which is just a set of ordered pairs. And a circle is a way of representing that set with a diagram, right? We can't list them all out because there's an infinite number of them. And in a relation, what does domain refer to? The x values, that's right. The first coordinate of each ordered pair. And the range is the second coordinate or the y values. Now when the ordered pairs are just listed out, it's pretty easy to identify the domain and range. You just list all the x values, you got your domain, and list all the y values, you got your range. The problem is, is that here we don't have that luxury. We do have a graph. So we have to read the domain and range off the graph. And we're going to give our domain and range an interval notation. I'm going to add that to the instructions here because usually it'll tell you that. So reading domain and range off a graph, you always want to go from smallest to largest. And domain, remember domain, referring to the x values, we're talking about the x-axis that goes from left to right. So I like to think of finding the domain off of a graph as going from wall to wall. So if I were to draw a wall at the smallest x value furthest to the left, and a wall at the largest x value furthest to the right. Notice that our circle hits every x value in between, doesn't it? All we have to do for interval notation is to list the smallest and largest values. What's the smallest x value that we hit here? Negative 2, good. And the largest x value? 2. So that we would say that the domain of this circle is going from negative 2 to 2. Are we including negative 2 in the domain? Does it actually hit that value? Is there actually a point on this circle that has an x coordinate negative 2? Yeah. Yes. So we have to include that. That means a bracket. And there's actually a point that has an x coordinate 2 also. So we have to include that one. We need a bracket there. Let's do the range. It's very similar. Except range is talking about y values. So we're looking at up and down, like the y-axis goes up and down. So I like to think of finding the um, range off of a graph as going floor to ceiling. So you look for the lowest point on your graph up to the highest point, floor to ceiling, bottom to top. And you notice the circle hits y values, every y value in between somewhere on that circle. So what would be the range in interval notation then? Good, the range starts at negative 5, goes up to negative 1, and are we including the end point? Yes we are, it actually hits those values, those are actually parts, uh, there are actual ordered pairs in that set that have those values for the y. And so that's how you find the domain and range. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.